These young sisters have some experiences that show how they've praised Jehovah. Let's find out how they've done it. First off, though, I like the way the slave brought these questions. You've had challenges. So what challenges have you faced at school to your faith? How have they challenged your faith? Well, I haven't been to public school in a long time. Yeah, and you're still in school, and your relatives come over, and you, Ryan? Um, I know around Christmas time, it gets really hard because uh, Christmas is everything during that time for a whole month. Um, conversation, assignments, and so that can get a little bit frustrating. Definitely. Sounds like staying separate matters in sistership. Uh, the sistership has graduated, just recently graduated high school. She could be in college right now. Did you know that? Let's, let's ask Sister Ship for challenges. Um, the pressure for higher education was a big role that I had to go through. Okay. So you've obviously withstood those challenges. How have your parents and others helped? Let's go to Elise, please, first. My mom would ask me questions, and I would tell her the answer, and if I should change it in some way or if I should improve it, she would tell me how I should do that. Or she would give suggestions about what might be the best idea to do. Excellent. It sounds like you listen to your mother in those regards. By tuning into the meetings and out in the ministry especially, uh, getting to see how others um, defend their faith and just observing them is a great blessing. It's a nice example your mother set. Um, and Sister Ship, how have different ones helped you? Well, um, school was hard, and so my mom and dad helped me to finish school. Um, I wanted to drop out a couple times. And then there was a sister that worked at the high school, and she would let me eat my lunch in her office every day and talk to her about things I've been through. Sounds like she became a real friend. Yes. Yeah, that's nice. Jehovah provides uh, with all our brothers and sisters. It, where does that leave us listening in? Can we befriend one of our dear young ones? What has given you the courage uh, to speak up about your Christian beliefs? Elise, please. I think that um, remembering Jesus and all that he went through has helped me to where everything that he went through, I'm sure I could take a little bit of what he's gone through, and probably most of all is my love for Jehovah. Excellent. Thank you, Elise. And uh, you, Ryan? Well, I know what's right, and I know the truth, and so um, Jehovah wants others to know that, and so I think that I can make a sacrifice to help them find the knowledge that I already have. Nice. And Sister Ship? I would say prayer um, to end studying and to be able to know what to say with if circumstances come up. Yes, and the three of you obviously have, uh, those sound like simple things, but they sure add up to a lot when you see that in your lives. Now you've all had some different experiences, times you've had to speak up. Uh, you uh, first, Elise? Well, there was an assembly um, that where my younger lady friend was, and she was going to come visit us, and it was in the month of November when my birthday was. And so we, Mom and I discussed that she might bring me a birthday present and how I would respond to something that might come up. And so when she did come, I did have, she did bring me a birthday present. And I froze and I got scared, so I didn't say anything. And then, when we went home from the assembly, I felt bad for not saying anything. So I wrote her a letter, and in that letter I gave her the benefit of the doubt, thinking she didn't remember. And I told her we didn't celebrate birthdays, and I gave her the examples in the Bible about birthdays. And that if Jehovah wanted us to celebrate birthdays, he would have um, told us to do so, and he wouldn't have given us bad examples of it. And so after I wrote the letter, I felt better because I made Jehovah happy, and it helped me prepare for something that might come up later on. Yes, it sounds like you did that in a very loving way. Nice. And uh, Ryan? I had a specific teacher 
who was, um, she was the gym, gym teacher, and I had forgotten my gym clothes on a specific day. Um, it was right after I had had some passings, um, some loved ones, and so I was already going through a really hard time. And then, um, even though I had been a pretty good student, <laughs> uh, she was really hard on me and was saying things like I was just unreliable and I was never going to get a job. I was just going to, uh, really, she was kind of disgusted with me. And so that was really hard. And I explained to her that um, school, even though it is important, it's not my main priority. What I want to do with my life is um, a religious career, such as primarily going to that whole things. And so that was a time that I had to really be strong. And we're glad you were. Um, we decided in rehearsing this part, that peach was just flat out mean and hungry. So, so it, it took a lot for her to stand up, and we're proud of you for that. So Sister Schiff, your experience. Well, um, with the pressure of higher education, um, my counselors, my advisors, um, my teachers, they would all pressure me because with my art, um, they would tell me that you don't want to waste your talent. You need to go to college. Um, a talent like yours, if you waste it, then nobody's going to notice your talent. And so, um, and I don't know, I, I told them about my beliefs and that I had spiritual goals and that I wanted to have higher education, but do it in a spiritual way, um, using my education and Patterson or Bethel, and um, before graduation, I made a 20-minute PowerPoint on going to Patterson and Bethel, and I had to give that presentation in front of four people, <laughs> so it was scary. <laughs> yeah. Now, here's the interesting thing. How many years did this take for, for you, Sister Schiff? Three years. Yeah, can you imagine? Almost every day, every week for three years, if we had to tell somebody no, like you did. Well, you sisters, we love you very, very much, and thank you for sharing with us.